And I think one of the most interesting parts of building a house is actually hanging drywall. Back at my house, and we're gonna go through this beautiful front door. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. Today I'm super duper excited because guess what's right behind me? The drywall or sheetrock as some people out there call it. I'm so excited because my crew's about to show up and they are gonna knock this entire house out. He actually thinks that they'll be able to do this entire house as a one day job and that's actually hanging everything and then mudding everything. So you're gonna see a lot of action. So right now this is like the calm before the storm. Got a couple things happening outside, but here inside this thing is about to get going. It's gonna be freaking crazy. And I think one of the most interesting parts of building a house is actually hanging drywall. Cause guess what? Now you'll be able to actually walk into rooms and feel like, okay, this is where I'll actually be in the living space. This is where I'll be able to sleep. This is where I'll be able to go to the bathroom. This is gonna be my closet. And I think it just kind of brings the whole house together because now you're not just seeing through walls and everything like that. So I'm excited for them to get here. They said they're rolling in deep. We'll see what happens. That's what I'm expecting. And this job is gonna get done. So why don't I get them working as soon as they get here? Y'all, these dudes are in here going crazy. It's unreal. They, I think they came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys, I think. Maybe nine. I'm not even sure, but they're flying around. Everybody's on stilts. There's so much commotion. They said they're going to hang it, mud it all in one day. He said probably by five o'clock, actually. I was like, bro, ain't no way. But they're going crazy. I'm excited. So much commotion. Can't wait to see this house become a home. I'm so freaking happy right now. I bet you can tell by the way I'm smiling. But anyways, let me get them going back to work and let me just keep filming here.
things are progressing, I want to give you a little explanation of something. So it is loud in here, I do apologize if you can't hear me that well. They're measuring, they're doing all this amazing stuff. But in the bathrooms, you put what you call a moisture board. Um, a lot of them call it a green board, even though it looks blue to me. So you put that in the bathroom, so if moisture gets on it, it can absorb it much better. Like the regular uh, drywall isn't made to just absorb moisture constantly over and over and over again. So this board right here that you see, it's, I mean, I guess it kind of looks green, but it looks more blue to me. But it's just called a moisture board, and it goes all throughout the bathrooms in the high, high, high moisture areas. And it allows for the wall to be able to just absorb that, and then it kind of just goes away. So if you look at any of your bathrooms um, near your shower and everything, you should have moisture boards. Not everybody uses it, but I want to make sure I'm doing it right. That way, while I'm living here, I know it's done right. And if I ever decide to sell it down the road, the person I sell it to, I know they're going to have a house that was built right as well. So they're going to keep progressing, and I'm going to keep filming.
party also. I had to jump in one of the guest bedrooms off to the side. They're in there jamming to their music and they are finishing up. They almost have every single room done, which is mind blowing. But like I said, they have like eight or nine guys. Everybody's flying around. Everybody's got a certain job. Everybody's helping one another. And I'm excited. They got the bathrooms done with the moisture boards, which are those blue or what they call green boards. And then every other room is done with what we have here. Um, and it's, it's phenomenal, honestly. So they've actually started preparing for lunch. They bring their hot plates and their microwaves and they literally just have like a fiesta every single day at work, which is really cool to see because they're just enjoying work for what it is. And um, so I'm gonna run off to lunch and then I'll give you a few more shots of them finishing up completely and then they're gonna mud this thing and get it done today. So I'm really excited, let's get them working. Alrighty, yo, this is actually unreal. They're back here working behind me. When I tell you they are freaking flying, I have not experienced this before. I've seen about four or five guys really taking it over, but they are literally going hard right now. I think they're gonna be done within like 30 minutes, not even joking. They started when I'm filming this video about 20 minutes ago and they're just knocking it out. But again, y'all, just check this out. It's unreal. They're literally flying around. My man with the bazooka right there. Got another bazooka guy. So those big things they got right there, they call them bazookas, at least that's what they told me and they are just killing it. They got the music playing, they're on stilts, everybody's got a job, and they're getting it done.
Alrighty y'all, so the guys are basically finished up. They're cleaning up and everything right now. And I'm actually gonna come back here in the morning when there's good fresh sunlight coming in so I can show you how everything turned out. Now it's time for this to settle, wait for it to dry up, and I'll give you more information when I get here tomorrow. Alrighty y'all, good morning. So I'm back at my house and we're gonna go through this beautiful front door. My cameraman here is gonna follow me and we're gonna do an MTV Crips tour with all of this drywall or sheetrock, like some of y'all call it out there. It's all hung and mudded and it is drying right now. So right now we're standing in kind of like the living room area. I'm gonna have a fan up here and I'm gonna have a beautiful couch, TV on the wall. This is gonna be freaking amazing. And then we're gonna go here into the kitchen area and this right here is gonna be like an island. So we're gonna have a nice island right here and then have of course cabinetry going along the sides of the wall refrigerator, oven, sink, and I obviously can't remember everything. And then I'm gonna have a small dining table kind of in this area right here um, to make sure I have enough room where that door is opening to the back deck. I'll have it maybe like a round one. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided 100%, but I'll have it here, probably a nice chandelier hanging down or some kind of light at least. And then we're gonna go into guest bedroom number one. So we're gonna go right in here and I'm loving the size of these bedrooms, okay? This house actually feels just right to me. So I've got this entire space, probably put a bed right here, have some nice things to complement it. Um, my interior designer is gonna do an amazing job and then I'll just walk backwards through this hallway right here. We got this bathroom. And again, just to give you an idea, I told you earlier in the video, the blue boards or the green one in the other bathroom are moisture boards. It's so that stuff doesn't start molding because there's obviously water. And yes, you do have a vent, but however, that vent doesn't get all of the moisture out of the air. So let's go to guest bedroom number two right here. I think it's perfect size. It is a guest bedroom. I'm not gonna be living here in this room. My master bedroom is the perfect size. So right here, another bed, probably this way, not sure. That's the interior designer's job, but pretty darn good space. So now we're gonna go to the other side of the house and go into my kind of like pantry area right here, my master bedroom and everything. So I'll just walk into the pantry actually so that you see how big it is. I mean, I think this is perfect. Even got a window for some fresh light. So if you're ever grabbing something, you hear a car go by, kind of peek out the window and gonna have some can lights. It's gonna be beautiful. We'll jump into the master bedroom right here actually before we go into the utility room in my office. So right here, check this out. I'm gonna have a nice beautiful bed and a little sneak peek for you. I'm gonna put board and bat style MDF right there. So gonna do some trim work, gonna have an accent wall. Big surprise, interior designer came up with that. I was like, let's do it, it's gonna be amazing. And then, matter of fact, why don't we do closet first? Look how big this is. You can have, like there's room for activities in here. I could literally work out in here if I want to. Punching bag and of course clothes, you know. Everybody loves a big closet. I don't know why, we wear like the same thing every day anyway. But then going into the master bathroom, again, it is very dusty. We gotta do a nice cleanup. They just did the work, everything is drying out. But I got this standalone tub right here and it's gonna be a beautiful setting for me because I've got sunsets right here, beautiful fresh light coming in. Got the little toilet room right here or the water closet as many people call it. Got some outlets down here as well. And then beautiful tile shower, stand up shower right here. So I am excited for that. And then we're just gonna go backwards out of here and go over to the mud room or the utility room and then to my office and then to the garage. So utility room right here is a pretty big size. It's gonna have a washer and dryer on this side here, a nice bench so you can like, you know, put your shoes off or take your shoes off right here, sit down, do whatever you gotta do. And then my office, maybe some of y'all will say it's a little bit too small, but I think it's gonna be perfect. And I think I'm gonna make this thing like my, my just, my humble abode area where when I come in here, everything else disappears. So we're gonna walk a little bit backwards and jump into the garage. And then we're gonna be able to end this video out because basically, be careful coming down, we don't want you to trip up. Um, basically, everything is done, they've gotta come back. This is gonna be kind of part one of the drywall um, situation and this entire garage is gonna be amazing. I mean, like, I've got room to park my truck, I've got room to park another, I could park another truck in here comfortably, to be honest with you. So the garage did get bigger when we were doing the foundation and everything like that, which was like a good mistake that happened by the block masons. They put the block on the wrong side of the pin. So anyways, I am very happy with what the drywall guys did. They actually came in with seven guys total. I thought it was nine because they just kept flying around. But regardless, I am happy with this progress. But let's jump back in the kitchen and let's end out this video. I hope 
all enjoyed this process. I'm very grateful for them coming out, knocking this out in one day. Can't wait for part two when they get this thing all sanded down and really smoothed up and the walls are looking good so the painters can come in and prime everything for me. But however, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms, especially TikTok because it's so easy to film, edit, and post on there. If you haven't yet, check out nicospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, maybe a hat, a hoodie, whatever you want and use code NICO for 10% off your order. Without further ado, smile more, worry less, and stay blessed. Peace out.